What if I said as a manual or human tester, you can do automation without learning how to code? You probably think I was lying to you. Let's get to it. And I know automation is like the bad word for the manual testing community, but now you're gonna embrace it. Hey YouTube, it's the test lead. And today we're talking about no code automation tools. Automation testing has become an integral part of any software development and quality assurance process. It enables organizations to achieve faster test cycles, increase test coverage, and improved product quality. However, traditional automation tools require the testers to know how to code, which creates a bottleneck for testers who don't know how to code. Enter no code or codeless automation tools. Recently, these have emerged as a way to bridge a gap for the need for automation testers without having people who know how to write code for automation tests. We will dive deeper into exploring what automation testing is, the concept of codeless automation tools, their usage, pros and cons, and present five examples of such tools that are transforming the way software testing is conducted. So first, automation testing, a brief introduction. You know I can talk, but I will try to be as brief as possible. Automation testing involves using software tools to execute prescripted tests on applications, comparing the actual outcomes with expected results. This testing approach aims to increase efficiency, reliability, and accuracy while reducing the testing efforts and cost. Automation testing is especially useful for repetitive tasks, regression testing, and performance testing. So now you have an idea about what automation testing is and why it's important. Now let's introduce codeless or no code automation tools. Remember, traditionally, especially when I started in a field decades ago, it feels like if you want to do automation, you need to learn how to do coding. But now with these tools, they're bridging the gap or giving manual testers more opportunities to do automation. And I know automation is like the bad word for the manual testing community, but now you're gonna embrace it. Codeless automation tools, also known as no code or low code automation tools are designed to simplify a process of creating, executing, and maintaining automated test cases. Unlike traditional automation testing that requires writing code, codeless automation empowers testers with little or no coding knowledge to perform test automation. These tools use things such as intuitive GUIs or graphical user interfaces or easy to read and understand displays. That way you can maybe record an automated script and play it back like that. Or it has drag and drop features. Some even have pre-built templates and then you just plug in what you're testing on which page and just like that, it creates an automated test script for you to run. So now everything seems great. It seems like the playing field has evened out, but let's dive deeper into the pros and cons of these no code automation tools. First off, I'm a positive person. We can start with the pros. Accelerated test creation. Codeless automation eliminates the need for coding, significantly reducing the time and effort required to develop test cases. Increased collaboration. 
non-technical team members can actively participate in the testing process, fostering collaboration between business stakeholders and the QA team. Shorter learning curve. Testers with limited programming skills can quickly adapt to codeless automation tools, making them accessible to a broader range of professionals. Enhanced productivity. With codeless automation, testers can focus on testing strategies and quality analysis, leading to increased productivity. If you're new here and happen to learn something, don't forget to subscribe. I'm on a road to 10K subscribers and I need your help. But now, back to the video. So all those things sound amazing, but I'm also a realist. Everything isn't so peachy. There are some cons also attached to coalless automation tools. Limited customization. Codeless automation tools may not support highly complex test scenarios, limiting customization options for advanced testers. Vendor dependence. Users are tied to the features and updates provided by the tools vendor, potentially hindering the flexibility of testing processes. Scalability concerns. Large scale projects with integrated test scenarios might still require custom coding to achieve scalability. Potential learning plateau. Testers with coding experience may find a transition to codeless tools less intuitive and prefer traditional frameworks. So now you have all this information about codeless, no code, or low code automation tools. Let's talk about some popular ones. That way, after this, you can learn about them, become more skilled in different things, and most importantly, become a more valuable resource. Test them. Testem offers an AI-based codeless testing platform that enables testers to create and execute end-to-end -end tests efficiently. Catalone Studio. Catalone Studio is a comprehensive automation testing solution that supports both codeless and script-based automation approaches. Testcraft. Testcraft utilizes AI-powered Codeless automation, providing a visual approach to creating and executing tests. Tracentis. Tracentis Tasco offers a codeless testing option, allowing business users to create and maintain automated test cases. Last but not least, Leapwork. Leapwork is a no code automation platform that empowers users to automate repetitive tasks without scripting. So as you can see, codeless automation tools has brought a new paradigm into the testing world. Now people who don't know that much coding can actually do automation in their day-to-day -day lives. I've mentioned the pros and cons. Obviously, it's not perfect, which is why all companies don't use it yet. But still, if you have the opportunity, want to develop more of your skill set and become more marketable, learning a no code automation tool as a manual or human tester can be very beneficial. If you need help on your QA journey, check out my book, QA Must Know Vocabulary, as well as my course, the Manual QA Academy. I'll also be having a new course coming out early next year which is the Automation QA Academy. That way I can help you throughout your whole QA process. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, subscribe, retweet, make a TikTok. I don't care, just get it out there. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.